So we are back into another, another one. Probably my last one for a while. Clash of the Fates deck profile. And this one is going to be red, yellow, OTK, GT Broly. And the thing about this one is, uh, and, and before I even get into that, uh, you know, obviously this is going to be with the, with the yellow Broly leader. A lot of people want to see more of that, but uh, I, I really did take some time to, to make the Dende and as well as the green Goku decks. Uh, I really spent some time to make make sure those are pretty decent. I'm, I'm, I feel pretty good about those, so definitely check, check those out afterwards, or if you haven't already, please go check those out too. But this one uh, is pretty good. I think this one is um, in, in a place of like, it's definitely going to be meta if, if people start uh, brewing with it a little bit more. I, I played it multiple times. At this point, more than uh, like 20 times as far as the deck and went back and forth as far as variations and what I should focus on. I know that the ARG event that just passed, someone was playing uh, GT Broly and I'm very worried about that. Uh, it's a little similar to that, but not, you know, it has it has a core core um, uh, cards for that and, it, and as well as like the core idea for it. So if you didn't skip through all of the explanation, this is the Broly leader, and uh, again, this one is the the one that you get from the Broly pack. The one that's kind of scarce. Even my locals didn't do it, or didn't didn't have it. So now he's like a ten, fifteen dollar card, which is probably gonna go down. But we'll see. Hopefully, this ages well. This one says twenty three dollars, but uh, we'll see. Uh, anyway, so this one is a attack and you choose one card from your life and add it to your hand and if you do so draw one card and of course this one's four or less you flip two cards or two energy over and flips in active mode so this both of these things are extremely good not only for aggro but also for control like there there's a there's a, some control decks out there that could really work well with broly and even a lot of other things but the thing that people are really focusing on is a flip side which um, you know, this can work with anything, but these things are really good in which you attack, you draw one card, you activate main, you choose one other battle cards and switch to rest mode, and then you choose the other one, act activate main once per turn, of course, choose one card from your life and add it to your hand, not to the drop, and then choose one in, uh, one of your cards in rest mode and activate and switch to active mode. So this can range from battle cards, this can range from field cards to your leader itself, and yes, this is not... Uh, once per turn, so you can physically draw two cards after switching him to rest or to active mode, and then it also includes energy, which you know every single thing is going to be pretty interesting to see as far as like regionals and things like that, um, uh, of like uh, where people take this uh, leader and as well as uh, the plays that come with it. So uh, personally, uh, he's definitely a candidate for me and in the ARG event in Vegas next month. Um, probably gonna be a best of one. I, I think I can work around best of three, but best of one, the Sunday event is probably gonna be the best to use this as I refine it until then, um, and, and see kind of where the meta shifts and, and what decks kind of beat it, but I'll kind of go into that later. Um, but th this definitely focuses on not only the the GT package, but also um, uh, taking hold of Shigesh, and Shigesh is still uh, such a such a good card, and it's an annoying card, and people should main board Cronoa after having this guy out in the wild. So let's kind of go through the deck now. So let's add that yellow package. So uh, there's going to be an obvious a few things here, and I do apologize. And the, the thing is, the thing about this is though, and, and the reason why I don't play meta is because the meta cards are automatically good uh, because they do so much for you. And uh, this does have swap in it. This does have the GT stuff in it. And this does have uh, a few of the things that, that have it, you know, make it pretty good. <laughs> also, uh, I do want to give a shout out to Sandy Kins, I do believe, uh, in the Discord or DBSCG underscore beast on Untap. Uh, I think he commented on one of my videos before to talking about his Broly deck. The only reason why I started building this and, well, there's two reasons. One is because he played this deck or a ver variation of this deck um, and beat me like turn two or turn three. And I was just like, I don't. What am I doing? <laughs> I was just like, okay, now I gotta build this. And the other thing was that um, Joel obviously just posted or had Eggman post his uh, lineage deck that uh, has Broly, and that was the direction I was gonna take for him anyway. So I was just like, I didn't want to do that. Um, he kind of took it, so I was just like, I'm gonna go ahead and make this. So uh, and then I started building this. So the yellow stuff first. So the yellow stuff, obviously, called Bloodless. Um, so in this deck, I, I've been fiddling around with the ratios and and kind of. 
Um, right now, as it sits, it is two of them. And uh, obviously, you can add this to three. Uh, I've never really had... You know, the focuses have been shifted to ending the game first before preventing anything uh, that you need. And as we have the swap engine in this, uh, I don't think that's really going to be too necessary as you draw quite a lot. The other thing is that Planet Vegeta kind of uh, replaces Successor of Hope in this. Not only for that, but it has a lot of other targets that you could be using and continue your plays. And that ranges from Preface, that ranges from Pine Size, Fearless Pan, the Combination Attack Pan, uh, Scrambling Son Goku, uh, Son Go Goten, and of course Shigesh. And as you see, uh, Kronoa being mainboarded and turn being played turn one, your focuses are going to be shifted from playing Planet Vegeta to uh, Shigesh into Planet Vegeta into um, Bardock or Son Goten and uh, and other cards too. I also played Unbreakable before, but it kind of got clunky and a little useless um, as it you know as you remove those things it, it kind of became harp hyper focused into other things so cold blood less is there just as he is a freezes army you will have one or two uh yellow energy up in order to use him and it really is still a really effective card again three is a really good number for it four if you're being ballsy depending on your meta but two in the testing so far have been has been perfectly fine and then of course the planet vegeta searches really half the deck and that's always good. So I play three bad ring laser. Um, the thing, the thing about this is that uh, you want to keep, you know, something in your hand, which you'll you'll be perfectly fine. This deck runs twenty five yellow cards, so you'll be perfectly fine to um, drop one in order to, to to negate the counter. I've been bad ring, bad ring before, but the the biggest thing is that hey, this really focuses on multiple attacks in one turn. Flying Nimbus, Mafuba, etc., etc., kind of really shuts that down. And Bad Ring is really good because now you can have an open yellow after you evolve and EX evolve, attack, and then negate the counter. Whether it's a Mafuba, they waste two energy. And if they um, go to, down to one life or take a life in order to use their counter, which sometimes does happen, they take, the, they take a life and then you use the Bad Ring. They have to take a life to pay the cost and then negates it and then you continue your, your play. And that can be really effective against um, uh, using the, well, the Victorious, the, the Drupal Flash, and the Secret Rare in this deck. Uh, because now you're going to be making them take a life with the Secret Rare if you're 60,000 or more. Or they're going to be facing Double Strike slash Triple Attack or Triple Strike afterwards. So now it's going to be even better for you in order to bad ring anything that take life for. Which is really good. Like that's that's just something you really need to keep in hand. And watch out for. So we have four Bardock the Progenitor. So this man, I hate, I hate to add him in there, but it just it sped up the deck really, uh, really well. Um, it's still probably one of the best one cost yellow cards uh, that we have. And uh, this one is a play one for one, and then you uh, take one from your life and add it to your hand. Um, and then you swap two, which is going to be Goten. Really, Goten is really the only target for it. Goten later on in the in the in the, in the game can be played for two. It's not that big of a deal. You just untap two with either uh, preface or the leader, and then you just continue to to get your pieces in order to do that. But Bardock really gets you to to uh, for energy because what happens is that you play Bardock um, turn one. Even if you're going first, you can take a life. You swap back to your hand. You can swap to a Goten if you have no fear of it getting removed, or you can just put it back to hand. You're starting at seven. They attack. They get you to set, uh, six. You attack with your leader. You gain two cards go to five and you play the Bardock, you go to four and then you Shigesh and then you pretty much end the game. That's pretty much the idea behind all this. And if you look at all the other Swamp Broly decks out there, that's kind of the idea for all of them too, because it really focuses on getting Shigesh out, which is why you have Planet Vegeta instead of Successor um, and, and continue to do that. So uh, if you get turn one Cronoa, that's a bummer, but it's really not that end of the world. If you stay at 15 as a leader, and can defend with the 5 cost combo from uh, Progenitor and as well as the other ones that you have, you, you'd be fine. You, you, your stuff is just going to be delayed a little bit and you might have to take your time in order to get to the combos that you need to get to. But for this, in order to place your guesses as, uh, as quickly as possible, this is the best card to do it. And then of course, Scrambling. Scrambling Assault go 10. I mean, that's the thing. That's is I just explained it. Top three. There's no need to explain that, especially when we have Shigesh. Again, you'd be looking for Shigesh and as well as um, your Triple Flash or whatever it may be 
but you're going to be using Shigash in order to get into the determined Super Saiyan Son Goku, and I'll explain that a little bit more, but we do play four. That rhymed. Wow. And uh, the, we play four because uh, when I was playing a 2-2 split, it wasn't enough to see it enough. Even though you had Planet plan Vegeta, you can play that uh, because you do have Planet Vegeta in case you're scared or don't want to deal with Granola. He is still a 10k combo, so there's that. And uh, it's really not focusing on Shigash, it, it's just Shigash makes the deck a lot better. It's just you're really focusing on making sure to uh, utilize the untapping method and as well as the GT package in order to end the game pretty quickly. But this, this man really does a lot of work and we'll go through the targets in a little bit. So time magic. I have to, just like the quote Bloodless, I really haven't had too much of a issue uh, not having them in my hand, but it really, again, depends on your meta. It depends on if you're going against an aggro a lot, um, but I, I, I go against a lot of androids, I go against a lot of Shenron, I go against a lot of mirror matches where uh, these things aren't really uh, prevalent. But when you do need it, it is pretty good. Uh, so that way you can just stop any kind of plays and um, take a one from your life if, if need be. Um, the other thing is that Flying Nimbus is really good in this deck too. It's just that, you know, I, I get played around play, fly, Flying Nimbus way too much in order for it to be effective and it's just really a preference thing. I think in a best of three, you should have Flying Nimbus in the, in the, in the side at the very least in order to replace this. And you can always go to three, but two has been perfectly fine. And of course we have Splosive Sun Goku. So again, this, again, focuses on that, um, that's uh, Shigesh, but the thing is that this does have synergy with the leader in which you do tap something and then you can play this card and K KO that right after. It's the same thing with Dende when I was talking about that in that deck. Um, and it's just really good as a barrier blocker and defense. It gives you another option in order to um, uh, prevent any kind of attacks later on. You can just barrier, you can just block and it's not going to get touched because it has barrier. And of course this, uh, the added benefit, which is why it becomes such a good card, you can attack something and not regret it because it's going to get uh, switched to active mode right after. But uh, again, really, really good card in this deck and just in general. All right, let's get to the red and as well as the uh, GT package. Of course, it's going to be the Pite Science uh, Warrior Sun Goku. Uh, before, I thought it wasn't really needed, but I think it really is. As you, um, if you don't get your yellow stuff, then this is going to be the next best bet in order to kind of focus on the leader, attacking, getting cards, and getting to that. Um, three to four energy spot where you can have a bad ring, you can evolve and then uh, play out the determinants on Goku even without Kronoa and then untap to tap something, evolve into uh, Victorious and then Triple Flash after getting those things, boosting it up with um, combination etc etc and then retapping and taking for game. Pine Size Goku needs to be there in order to make sure that you have those targets uh, uh, later on so it's the top seven for a red gt goku and that includes the determined one so the determined uh super saiyan sun goku has critical which is nice you know i have champa in here so it's not that bad uh bad of an idea to do that and then retap it uh uh, when you're awakened and then evolve so it's not gonna be too much of a bad idea to do that and then of course this one is four or less when your life is four or less would you get there pretty quickly with this deck the energy costs of this card uh, you increase the energy cost by two so it becomes a five drop effectively so you can if you can evolve with the triple flash I should probably check that out nope, you can't evolve with triple flash sorry about that uh, but you can't evolve it with the secret rare so um, we have victorious fist and I'll explain that in a second. Triple flash. Triple flash. <laughs> and then hyper. Hyper revolution. So we have uh, three of him, two of him, and then I can't do any more of them. So I don't know why I clicked that. So this one is a EX Evolve for one. Place one card from your hand in a drop area, which is kind of annoying, but you can kind of get rid of uh, rid of it pretty quickly for your Bardox after you awaken um, or something else of that nature. But Bardox is usually the target for that. It does not have to be a red card. Don't get rule sharked on that. Uh, but it does have double strike and a six, a six cost, so that means you can evolve it with the secret rare. But when it attacks, it gains 5k, and you switch to, uh, switch to active mode after attack. So the cool thing, okay, not the cool thing. The stupid thing is that autos are after um, uh, after counters, so technically time magic can make him stay rested. So this one chooses one of their battle cards, ignoring barrier and switch. To, it can't switch to active mode to start the next turn, so this one can't switch back. So that's very annoying. 
Another thing is that, as I understand it, when you switch something back to active mode, you actually can't do that. You can take the life, but you can't do that because Time Magic specifically says it can't be um, switched to active mode until the start of next turn. So watch out for those things. It's very annoying, uh, but that's why you want bat run battering. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, so what you do is that you swing this guy. It's a double striker. If they're at five, it's perfect. Uh, they're going to be starting defending um, over and over again. And uh, every time you're gonna be uh, gaining 5k, and of course you run the combination attack pan, and once you just give them 5k, and the, and the the real thing here, which I used to have um, the support Bulma that you you switch to rest mode and then gain 5k, but I kind of went away from that because it just became a card that I had to use an energy for, and I was just like I didn't really need it. I did I didn't really need to see that. I didn't really need to waste that energy just for a draw on 5k. So I really focused on this and EX evolving multiple times because you can attack, gain 5k for 30,000 double strike, EX evolve again, attack, it becomes 35, and then EX evolve again to triple flash, and now you have a big boy of um, what 30 or er, yeah 40,000 or so triple attack uh, or triple strike and then combination attack afterwards so you're threatening over and over again and then you have that ability if you have it in your hand in order to uh ex evolve on top of this not excluding not saying not after triple fives because you can't do it after that but the secret rare on top of this so um the real goal is just to make sure you get 20k in total uh and you can always restand afterwards with the, the broly leader which is why this makes it so good and of course the alternative win con is going to be triple flash triple strike um draw two and it, it won't be it, this doesn't really apply because of the rata it has to be a red setting layer but it's still really good because now you only pay one you draw two you don't have to drop any cards and it becomes a triple strike attacker plus the boost that you have from here and as well as um a combination attack pan so really really good and uh just restand it like you take them from six to three and then three to, to zero it's really stupid <laughs> and of course hyper revelation son goku i think this is becoming more of a one more card one more card but i've won a few matches doing this in which again you get the boost from here and as well as combination attack pan you get him to uh to a 15k boost which is pretty easy after you restand and then you attack you deal one damage after is 60,000 or more, which again, you, that sweet spot is at 15 or 20. And then um, you have two options. So one, you deal one damage. And at that point, after all of those uh, attacks, um, they have to go through the, the combo phase because this is just an auto. So uh, they take one damage already. And if they um, counter, like take a life encounter if they're tapped out, which most of the time it happens, um, they have to take a life for that. You bad ring that. They have to take a life for this, and then they have to deal with a 60k um, a card that's attacking for the duration of the battle. So that is just stupid because after that, you retap this man with the Broly leader. You attack. You deal none of the damage, and then they have to um, deal with that again. So again, the other thing is that the activate main is the second option. You place two red cards in your hand in the drop area. And you switch to active mode. So. Um, with Sandy's build and as well as my build, I was really focusing, I was just making sure like, you know, do I have enough red? Um, and I focused too much on that and that kind of led to my downfall because I, I, I couldn't find this at sometimes, even with the Pite Science Goku, which is why I kind of started, f um, focusing on the, the triple flash and as well as the Victorious Fist. So just keep that in mind when playing it. And finally, we have Fearless Pan. Uh, furthering destruction Champa. I'm not an East Kai fan, so that's why I have it in there. You can use him instead, um, but that's just me. And I believe that's all as far as all the, the red cards. So, oops. So we have two, and then of course four here. The reason why we have for this man is that it is a Shigesh target. It also is a 5k boost, and at the very least, if you Shigesh like two or three, or you play two or three of the determined. Uh, Super Saiyan Son Goku, and then you swing with double strike critical 20,000, and then you restand him, and then evolve for the uh, Victorious Fist, it can get really out of hand. And I think this is a really good uh, alternative win con and an alternative thing to kind of boost it. So instead of the um, 
the uh, Bulma, this is pretty good too. And again, you got to realize that this is all happening the first two or three turns. So uh, you really want to get all this stuff out as soon as possible. So that way Cronoa isn't going to be a problem. And so that way you end the car, the, the game uh, as fast as possible too. And like I said, this deck can kind of get a, out of hand. <laughs> but again, barrier blocker, really good. And especially if it's for free. Champa, really good uh, in order to... You know, again, it's the thing of like Cronoa. Like, if you're going to be seeing a main priority Cronoa or a best of three Cronoa, Chomp is really good. So that way you can get to that win con or triple flash. Um, so you still have Bad Ring. You still have Restanding and Triple Flash. You still have Victorious Fist. And the Chompa really speeds up that thing where early in the game you can combo with a Bardock or a Scrambling Assault or Broly, whatever, and then bring him down to a lower enough life to, to threaten lethal very early. And then a commentation attack pan, you 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 play her for free if it's 20,000 25,000 or more with GT Goku, and then you choose uh, one of those and it gains 5k. So I'll kind of explain why. The other cool thing is that you play this for free and it kind of just sits there. So even if you don't attack or end the game of that turn or that yeah that turn, she just sits there and then she just um, could activate the main next turn and then gain 5k right after. So pretty sweet there. And finally we have. Preface and Mira. So we have those two. And as I tested and as I uh, got better with the deck and got used to the deck, I feel as though as that this is uh, pretty much the, the best way I can build him and uh, the, the best way I can kind of take use of every single thing for this leader. And the best way I can kind of put out a meta deck, my monthly meta deck. Like that's basically what it is. Um, but Mira is there because you can kind of restain him. You have access to Tampa, which I've used many times. Um, you just got to watch out for time magic, which is why you use, uh, again, Bad Ring. And you just plan it out. Like, after all of this stuff and after they remove it, after you use Cold Blood Lust or Planet Vegito, Time Magic or whatever, it's going to be pretty good in the drop area. So you're swinging, like, at the minimum... Um, what is this? Uh, it's 50k minimum, and then with Champa, 60k, and then all the other cards you put in the drop. So, it's it's a it's a very good card, and being able to restand him with the Broly effect makes him even better. And of course, Preface is there, so you can continue plays. If you have three or four Shigesh in your hand, this can get out of hand after you Shigesh him out, Shigesh her out, and Shigesh him out again after you pay uh, the Ax Evolves for this man. And it's just really good. Like overall, I'm very, very happy with the deck. Um, shout out to Sandy again, uh, and slash his name on Untap and YouTube, all three different names. So I can't shout out all your names <laughs> um, for expiring me for this deck. And definitely check check it out. Try it out. Um, I'm I'm very happy with it. It's uh, again going to be a candidate for uh, Vegas uh, for the best of one at the very least. And uh, as long as I can get a hold of all the cards and. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm I'm very happy to to do some gameplay. All the all the decks that I came out with this week, um, I'm I'm happy to do some gameplay on that. Maybe I'll do in like a live stream or something like that or battle series, uh, sometime or another. But I'm I am pooped. So uh, enjoy. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe if you're new. Join the Discord. It's always in the description. And uh, watch all the videos and deck profiles. I'll see you in the next one. Later.